one of the things I can do with OCalc is create my own, admittedly somewhat simplified, reports using Excel templates, assuming I have Excel installed on my machine. So if I go under my Reports tab, one of the things you'll see is this Custom Reports window that pops up. And here's a list of the custom reports I currently have in my machine. Um, so let's take a look at this little simplified Make Ready report I have here. And I'm going to say Display. It takes a second to fire up Excel. But it is going to take Excel. It's going to use the built-in tokenization engine to go ahead and crank through and extract the values from OCalc, and it's going to display them here. And you can see I, I have some data. I also have some imagery that allows me to put in. I have some of the various um, uh, visual components, like the side view and the top view. Um, it would have displayed an image of this poll had I actually had one, <coughs> and so on and so forth. So I can either go under here and say create a new port using the existing report as a template, or I can go in and I can make a new report from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fire up my Excel. And now what I need to do is put in um, tokens that the system will replace with values from OCalc when it performs this operation. So first of all, let's save it. So we'll save this as. Now you need to know where to put it. So you go back to OCalc here, close that. And if you go under Help, you go under Folders, you go under the user root folder and look under reports this is where it's going to want to put this so one of the easiest things to do is just copy this and then go back to Excel and paste it in here and so now you know you've got it in the right location and I'm going to call this uh, my demo report Save. And we're just going to do a simple one. So let's say one of the things I want to do is display the poll number. So poll number. And now it's going to want me to put in here the token to say what defines the value of poll number within the structure. And the easiest way to get that is, again, you go over to Excel, you go into Reports, you go under Custom Reports, and under Other you say List Available Tokens, and this is all of them. And so I have this value percent poll ID percent and if I place that anywhere in the spreadsheet at runtime that value will in fact be replaced by the polls poll ID value and these numbers can be used as uh, simple display things but they can also be used in calculations so let me show you um, how that would work um, let's just do, we're gonna do a really simple one here we're gonna do the polls ID and its length I don't know why you'd want to do that, but let's say you could. So we go back to here, and we do lat long. Where is it? Poll actual length. Poll's actual length. Okay, so here's the poll's actual length. And here we've got length like so. Okay. And that's enough for the time being. Let's go ahead and save that. And we're going to say save. And if we actually then go to our custom reports tab, you see that my demo report is there. I click display. It's going to think about it. And it's going to tell me this is the poll ID and the poll's length in feet. Now, let's say for the sake of argument that I wanted to have it in inches. Well, <coughs> um, if I want to have it in inches, now that I actually have it in here, I can click edit and it'll just bring me right to it. I can say, for example, this equals this times 12. Now, it's going to be complaining about it now because it doesn't know what the value is, but when I actually go to run it and say my demo report and say display, it then converts that value and actually uses it in the calculation and recalculates and there I go. So you can see that I could use this to do some pretty complex make ready type charts or reports. I can have multiple sheets, it doesn't really care. I can have stuff all over the place, I can have hidden values and it'll just fill them all in. So this is an easy way to create a customized report. Um, for more complex reports we also have a, a report plugin architecture and we do provide training for how one would construct customized reports. Um, and then for 
canned reports, obviously, we provide you with a large number of those. But for, custom, for simple custom reports, Excel is a pretty straightforward way to go.